there is a a scar on my forehead here uh, which is a mark of a uh, of a shoes of a police officer that was kicking me while I was on the ground that mark is permanent on my forehead and and anyone could ask me why did you get this and once I get even asked by my by my child is that what's on your forehead why was it and I just got to explain to them and probably I did not want to explain to them so it's a painful reminder that the brutality of the Bahraini police uh, has left a mark in my country Bahrain there was a massive uprising in 2011 that uprising was challenging the ruling family. People were asking for more rights, for more freedom, for independent judiciary, for rule of law, for equal rights. And when we stood up to the government, when we marched to the street peacefully to demand these rights, we were crushed. I was imprisoned. I was tortured. I was stripped of my citizenship. It means I was rendered as a stateless person. And then this did not end up with me alone, but also my children uh, were impacted with this. From my then 18 uh, months son, my wife, which were both abused as a direct response to an action I took in, in London when the king was meeting with uh, when the king was meeting Theresa May at 10 Downing Street. Later, they threatened that they will come after the rest of my family members, and they executed that. They did imprison my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, and a cousin, and they came after my family members. I've seen firsthand how victims can change because of how overwhelming is their experience. I do believe the torture is designed in some cases is just not to extract more information from you. It's rather is designed to break your will. Bahrain laws are clear that they are against torture, that they are signatory to this convention. However, they repeatedly breach that convention with absolutely no accountability whatsoever. And when individuals like myself and others claim that they've been subjected to torture, the state can easily deny it. So don't ever, like to anyone, don't think this is, it's enough that these conventions are ratified, but you need to make sure that you are doing whatever in your power, that no one in the country should be subjected to torture.